Hello, welcome to the Mark Janot Show, the cybersecurity show. People are leaving Windows, right? And uh, I'm going to talk about it in this video. I'm going to talk about what people dislike about Windows 11. How does Windows 11 bloatware impact user experience? Uh, how can Microsoft fix Windows 11? What can you do to improve Windows 11 experience? And, you know, so I'm, that, those are the things I'm going to talk about in this video. So without further ado, let's get right into it. We are going dark. So what people dislike about Windows 11? Many users have expressed dissatisfaction with Windows 11 for various reasons, highlighting both performance issues and user interface changes. And here are the main complaints. Slower performance, right? Many users report that Windows 11 feels slower compared to Windows 10, particularly with system apps like File Explorer, which they find to be laggy and unresponsive. Users can, you know, have noted that even basic tasks such as opening folders take longer than expected. Bugs and inconsistencies. Windows 11 has been criticized for having numerous bugs that affect usability, such as the taskbar crashing and the search function being inconsistent. Some users have experienced frequent hangs and unresponsiveness, which detracts from the overall experience. You then have heavy resource usage, complaints about increased battery consumption and heating issues also have surfaced, right? With users noting that their devices run hotter and drain power more quickly than the user, uh, you know, the, the previous uh, versions. You have user interface changes, taskbar and startup menu design. The centralized taskbar and new startup menu layout have been unpopular among users. Many miss the ability to customize the taskbar's position and find the new layout less intuitive. The start menu now includes ads for Microsoft services, which frustrates users who prefer a cleaner interface. Removal of features. Several features from Windows 10 have been removed or altered in Windows 11, leading to user frustration. For example, users can no longer view calendar events directly in the action center or move the taskbar to different screen positions. You have hardware requirements. Stringent hardware requirements. The upgrade to Windows 11 has been hindered for many users due to its strict hardware requirements, which include needing a recent CPU and a TPM security chip. This has left some users unable to upgrade their existing machines. You have bloatware. New installations of Windows 11 come with several pre-installed applications that users consider unnecessary, contributing to the feeling of bloatware that complicates the user experience. You have general sentiment, right? General sentiment and overall, while some users appreciate the new features and design elements of Windows 11, the prevailing sentiment among many is that it complicates tasks that were simpler in previous versions, leading to a frustrating experience. So how does Windows 11 bloatware impact user experience, right? Windows 11 bloatware has a significant negative impact on user experience in various ways. And here are they, right? System performance, right? Bloatware consumes valuable system resources like CPU, memory, and storage space. Even not actively used, this can result in slower overall system performance, increased boot times, and reduced battery life for laptops. You have user interface clutter, pre-installed apps clutter the start menu and task bar, making it more difficult for users to find and access the applications they actually need. This can lead to a frustrating and less intuitive user experience. You have unwanted content. Windows 11 includes uh, features like a button next to the start menu that displays unwanted content when clicked or hovered over covering a significant portion of the screen this constant influx of news and information can be overwhelming and distracting by uh, or for users right you have reduced productivity the presence of bloatware can hinder productivity by slowing down the system and requiring users to spend time removing or managing unwanted applications storage space bloatware takes up valuable storage space on the device, which can be particularly problematic for systems with limited storage 
capacity. Now let's get into forced integration, right? Microsoft's integration of services like Edge, Bing, and other Microsoft products into the operating system can be frustrating for users who prefer alternative browsers or search engines. This forced integration can lead to a less personalized and more restrictive user experience. Please take a moment right now to hit that subscribe button and like button. Once again, please take a moment right now to hit that subscribe button and like button. You have privacy concerns. Some bloatware may collect user data and display advertisements, raising privacy concerns for users. You have system updates. Bloatware can sometimes reappear after system updates, requiring users to repeatedly remove unwanted applications. So to mitigate these issues, users often need to spend time identifying and removing bloatware, which can be a tedious process, especially for less tech savvy individuals Overall, the presence of bloatware in Windows 11 can significantly detract from the user experience by impacting performance, cluttering the interface, and forcing unwanted services on users. So what can Microsoft do to fix Windows 11, right? Microsoft has implemented several methods to fix uh, Windows 11, right? Focusing on both user accessible tools and system level repairs. Now here are some of them, right? You have the Windows Update Repair function. Windows 11 now includes a repair function that can be assessed through Windows Update. This feature allows users to perform you know, an in-pace upgrade, essentially reinstalling Windows while keeping personal files and most settings intact. This method can fix many system issues without starting or requiring a USB drive, right? Putting it in. Uh, system restore users can now you know use the built-in system restore feature by typing rstu um, rstrui.exe peter put that on the screen in the run box this allows reverting the system to a previous state when it was functioning correctly troubleshooters windows offers various troubleshooters that can automatically detect and fix common issues this can be accessed through settings system troubleshoot and you know other other troubleshooters you have app repair for you know for issues with specific applications windows 11 provides options to repair or reset apps through the settings menu or control panel command line tools advanced users can utilize command line tools like sfc that's system file checker and dism that's the deployment image servicing and management to repair corrupted system files in play um, or in place upgrade for more severe issues of uh, performing an in place upgrade using the latest windows 11 installation media can resolve many problems while preserving personal files and most settings uh, clean installation as a last resort for unfixable issues microsoft recommends performing a clean installation of windows 11 which involves backing up data and reinstalling the operating system from scratch so while these methods can address many issues, Microsoft continues to work on improving Windows 11 stability and self-healing capa uh, capabilities through regular updates and patches. The company also provides support channels for users to report and receive help for complex issues that can't be resolved through standard repair methods. So. What can you do to improve your Windows 11 experience? What you can do is you can disable visual effects, right? Reducing or turning off visual effects can significantly improve performance, especially on lower end hardware. You can navigate to the settings, system, then about, advanced system settings, performance settings, and select adjust for best performance to disable unnecessary animations and shadows. There is also manage startup apps you can prevent unnecessary applications from launching at startup to speed up boot times. Go to settings, then apps and startup and disable any apps you don't need to run at startup. You can activate storage sense. This feature helps manage disk space for automatically deleting temporary files and content from your recycle bin. You can enable it through settings, system and storage, right? You can use performance power plan, switch to the performance power plan to optimize system performance performance access this in settings then system and power and battery then additional power settings you can then do um regular windows updates keeping your system updated ensures you benefit from performance improvements and bug fixes check for updates regularly through settings windows update customization and usability 
You can also focus, you know, focus sessions, right? Utilize focus sessions in the alarms and clock app to set aside uninterrupted work time. This feature can help improve productivity by scheduling breaks automatically. You have tabs in File Explorer. Take advantage of the uh, new tab feature in File Explorer, allowing you to manage multiple folders without cluttering your desktop. Right click uh, a folder and select open in new tab to use this feature. That's what I have for you today. Please take a moment to hit that subscribe button and like button. Once again, please take a moment to hit that subscribe button and like button. I appreciate your viewership. Stay safe. See you on the next video.